Hey everybody, uh, my name's Ben and today I'm going to be showing you how to play an arrangement of Nefertiti by Wayne Shorter on the guitar. So this is one of those Wayne Shorter tunes where if you look in the real book all the changes don't make any sense. And the reason for that is that uh, apparently with a lot of these tunes Wayne would actually write out the notes that go in the voicings uh, along with the melody uh, because he wanted a very specific kind of tone color. Uh, so when you try and uh, write it out as chord symbols and things like that, you lose some of that character or don't get it just right. But uh, a couple years ago uh, on Do the Math, which is the blog of Ethan Iverson, um, he put up some chords that allegedly came from Herbie Hancock for what he plays on this um, that are the piano voicings, the note clusters, and from there, I kind of did a little transliteration onto the guitar of how to make that work. So let me first just quick play you how it goes. Alright, so let's quick walk through what the voicings are, how to play it. So it starts out with this kind of fourth E cluster here, which if you think about it, it's the same top notes as what you'd play for a B flat 13th kind of a chord, but the bass note is actually the A flat here. And then so we're going to take that and walk it down a whole step. Now we have G half diminish, C7 flat 9, and here we have a B6 9, and this is like sliding these two notes, or these three notes up. Same thing but with the sharp 11 on top. Now we're going to go to B flat half diminish, which the voicing that I use here is the same thing as a uh, D flat minor chord with a B flat in the bass. So, and you play the bass note with your thumb. So what that chord is, it's a uh, E flat altered seven chord uh, with the flat nine here and a uh, sharp 11 or a flat 5 on top. And I do like the little chromatic move in there, like one of the Detroit piano players would do, like, you know, Barry Harris or Tommy Flanagan or something. So just start out with the sharp 9 here on top and move it chromatically down. All right, so we're halfway done. So the second half, uh, which is the same as this voicing down here, but it's on the middle four strings. So what that actually is, think of it like an A13 chord, but uh, with a sus4, so you move, move the third up a half step. You can also think of it like a uh, D triad with an A in the bass, but it's got that seventh in there, so it's... And in the piano voicing, you would play. That's what the piano voicing is, but clearly that's a little bit awkward on the guitar. Uh, so we play like this. Then next is the same chord up a whole step. And this is like a uh, D major chord. Uh, D major 7 with a sharp 11. This is actually a polychord, which is kind of cool. So it's this, this chord, right? Which is a D major chord, and this chord, which is an E major chord, played at the same time. So it's this, or this guy, just bar across with this guy on the bottom. Then we come here to which like a just a E11 kind of a chord. And 
then here's another one that you can't really play on the guitar because on the piano it's got two notes that are half step apart. So the it's got to have both of those notes in it. So you can kind of fake it on guitar by going like this. So that's a E flat 9 sharp 11 here, but then this guy moves. Then you come here, which is a, a B flat a minor major 7. It's this guy, like the augmented chord up top, and then you can cover the B flat and the bass with your thumb. So this is the same E flat altered chord uh, with the flat 9 and the flat 5 or the sharp 11 on top. And again, I just go from the flat 9 to the sharp 9 here on the inside to make it sound pretty. So that's it. So I'll play through it slow and let you follow along. So uh, that's the lesson. Uh, like I said, if you want to figure out the exact piano voicings, I'm, you may have to go on Google Archive or find it uh, somewhere else. But uh, if you want to know exactly what Herbie says is played, it's out there. Uh, Y'all have a good one now and uh, enjoy the lesson.